Welcome back to the lodge. Today's video, we're going to get this early 80s John Deere 316 mower up and running. And then we're going to put her straight to work. Well, maybe. Probably won't run. What's going on here? It's his delaminator. Oh, she's split out. Oh, sure enough. You think these two hose clamps are gonna hold you up? Well, there's oh. the answer. Hose clamp is broke. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth the 15 minutes you put into it. Here's the mower, uh, 316, it's early 80s. I looked up the VIN number, but this deck is off of something different. The wheels are off of something different. I did put brand new rears on it because I'm fairly confident we can get this going. It's got a newer-ish Predator engine from Hobo Freight in there, but it's never, I don't think there's any record of it actually working. I'm not quite sure. There's, the wiring is just, it's a mess. Keys missing or broken. So I think I'm just gonna start right in with Electro Digitals. There's really no reason to suspect that this is bad. I do have a new ignition for it, and I also have a fuel cap because oh there goes that one well you can't really see in here but I did the other day and it's like a looks like a bad head gasket basically there's brown and whitish stuff floating in there and all sorts of things that cap had a hole in it so basically all the water was coming in so the tank needs flushed and I believe that fuel comes in over on this side right here so we'll take the tins off, and I guess, take that back, let's go ahead and flush the fuel system first. Then we'll get into the Selectro Digitals. If this goes as planned, I'm gonna road this thing down to the corner and get a couple hours of mowing in. Hopefully, no, I'll probably give up after 10 minutes, but we will try this thing out in some steep, deep grass. There's plenty of it around here, I don't know, there's 711 niner million acres of mowed grass to get to. I also got a flat tire I've got to address. I did bring some gummy worms and the old stabber reamer thing. Are you still working on a chair? Yeah. It's, it's not, not going to work. Oh, yeah, it's almost done. There's a couple more, dude, and they'll be done. Oh. Tommy spray painted the 1086, and it looks sharp. Look at this red. And you got the duels on. Seems fine. Oh. You don't think so? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, right here. Well, it worked, kind of. Oh, you found a different chair. Oh, yeah. This is weird. No clamps. That's about ready to blow out. Filter's really good. So I think we'll just unplug it here. We'll unplug it. Get it. We'll unplug it here, is what I'm saying. And I got an electro digital pump we'll plug in and we can just suck it out and not have to do anything at all. What do you, what do you got? While oh, you're practicing? Custom muffler. You can tell that this is gonna be really quiet. Work good. Got this snagged off. This right here is just water. So that's gonna be at the bottom of the tank. See how it's beating up? It's all water. So we'll get this pump hooked up here and then we'll shoot her into that thing and recycle it. We got most of that old fuel out. It's starting to smell like gas anyway, but I'm sure the fuel make it happen is full of water too. So I'm trying to get down to that, but there's so much dang plastic on this thing. But it's got to be hiding under here. Hopefully I can just crack the screw on the bowl, strain out what's in there, and then we can run some fresh fuel in here that I forgot at the house. 
And after I get back from doing that, 78 hours later, we should have a fresh fuel system. Underway. There you go. Tighten it up. Got some fresh gas in there, or I think it's fresh, not sure. It was on my shop floor for a couple years. That should be better than what was in there. I'm not even sure. Does that look good? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm not even sure if that reaches. I think that's wrong, but it doesn't have a hole in it anyway. So now, I think we'll just go straight into trying to jump start this thing, which should just be this terminal here on the solenoid and this guy. That should get it jumping over. Well, this side's missing that, that nut down there too. And if we get it fired off, then the guy could get back in here and try to wire up that ignition down there because that's not doing anything at the moment. Massive fuel leak. It just raining down. And it's up in here on top of the tank. Probably why this thing was parked. I could feel it's just flopping in there. Good news is this entire body has to come off in order to even see the fuel tank that's rapidly spilling fuel on the ground. So I haven't decided whether or not I'm really feeling that ambitious right now. Thought we'd have to take the whole seat off, but this has been off 158 times apparently. So I think, yeah, if we just drag and lift hard enough, it might just slide off there. Oh yeah, that's probably why this one's missing. Never went back on. You see all the overspray from my grandpa. Sissy, let's get out. Oh, look at that. And there's our leak that's been siliconed before. Oh, that's barely noticeable. <laughs> and flush. So, well, well, Chris just noticed we're deep into a frame off restoration now. So, Tommy's got the grease gone and we're gonna hit them things up since they're facing us. Mazel, oh yeah. Pretty simplistic. This is like a truck frame, basically. Fuel tank slid right out. There's some JB Weld at the house. I'm gonna try to set that in there and glue it up. Yeah, right in there, see, there. First time this has ever been greased. Oh, I like how that wobbles around in there. Oh yeah. Should we check the oil in this even? <laughs> well, I mean, look how good the wiring is. We might as well keep going. Should we maybe move that acetylene closer or is it good there? So anyway, like I was saying, <laughs> this seems to be way too not good. But it does illustrate how much water there was in the gas. Oh, there we go. off now. Did you save the light? Wonder what this looks like outside. Oh, it looks just like one of the tractors running in the winter. That ain't too bad. Looks like the 1086 was running in here for half a day. Floor's clean though. You could smell all the high trans and stuff that's burning through it too. Well, we got our JB welded in there. Got the angle modulator 900 in here. Tanya Harding 2000 weighing that down. And that's not gonna work, so that's good. I think we're just gonna maybe clean the floor some more, 
Do some more cold snacks. I don't know, you got black spray paint? We can keep restoring stuff over here. You know? Oh yeah. yeah. It's brand new now. You just only get the spots that you can see, basically. Don't waste. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, we're running low. Oh, I better get this side before it runs out. Oh, that's it. Well, well, that's setting up. I'm gonna fix this tire. The brand new one got a thumbtack or something in it over here. Gotta get the Leatherman out on that, but I'm positive that's where it's leaking because I pulled it out and it went tss, So I stuck it back in and tried to fix it and that didn't work, but I got a tire plug kit thing. We'll ream it out, put a gummy worm in there, and then we'll see if we can air it up. This is a deceivingly long tack. Look at that thing. Well, that's what did it. I put it back in, not only so I could try to refix it, but that way I knew where the hole was. And now we gotta come in here and patch that guy up. <laughs> Wait, did you say when I get this on the road it's gonna rust? Not everyone drives their lawnmower to the bar, Chris. Oh, that's true. Tommy, help, I can't get that in left-handed. Got it? Nope. Well, what in the oh, devil? God, it's gonna go. Is it going? I think so. Was that even the hole, or did you just make a new one? You had it in there. So I may not have had the poker upper tool in quite the right position when Tommy took over. And now we have two holes. And he said, wait, we're gonna try this stuff. He swears by it, I don't know what it is. Tire jacked? So hopefully this works. Is that fit in there? That's a whole lot of goop. Well, I didn't read the instructions. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. What happens? I need that thing in revolver now. You were watching it, I thought. I don't understand what's happening, but that worked. It's holding air pressure. It is not leaking whatsoever. Huh. Well, that's a whole lot easier than this whole process. Got the side cover off. It's starting to try to trace some of these wires here. What's making it a little difficult is the yellow turns green, which turns blue, which turns to yellow, which then is taped into pink with a wire nut, for example. So it's gonna take me a minute. I'm gonna try to figure out what all this does so I can get that other ignition in here, which goes in there, so we can have a key to this thing. That would be kind of nice. See, this green goes to this yellow, which also goes to this yellow, which turns into blue, which goes, I believe, up to the PTO switch up here, which runs that clutch. Oh, yeah, it's, it's fine. I did just get this fired up. It ran for a couple minutes. Uh, finally got the switch figured out in there. We put a new battery in. There was another ground hanging here. Put that on. It did take quite a bit of the old huffing gas there. I think the carburetor was full of water, but the bowl was actually kind of hard to get to on this. Well, not hard, but it would take another 15 minutes, so I just ran some water through it there. Throttle linkage isn't quite perfect. It gets all the light open, but it doesn't want to idle down very good, but we'll see if it fires up for you here. Oh, 
I think this needs adjusted because even in neutralis, she wants to creep forward, uh, but I'm not quite sure how to do that. I'm sure I can figure it out, but right now I really just don't care to be honest. So get the rest of the tin on this thing. Crank's gonna help me throw the back on, which is now laying over there. And then we'll go hit the switch, throw the old power takeoff on and see if that belt from 1984 hangs up or not and cut some grass somewhere well here we go fuel tank prepared new fuel line fuel filter battery Whoop. just pretend we didn't see that new ignition fuel cap a little bit of wiring magic i think we're ready to go for a rip here thing does pretty darn good i didn't even look at the blades i'm sure they're just metal sticks swinging around in there hydrostats working really good forward and reverse i just got to get that neutralis adjusted deck goes up and down just fine i think we got a nice little workhorse going on here jessica and annika made that earlier but this is kind of the setup here now we can pick up trash and garbage and rocks and wood and all that stuff over on our property and haul it around in this and then we can just pick an area and dump her off like that should work out pretty good i got the one with the you know the bigger tires actual air tires so pretty excited about this spent many years seeing this thing lay around and I spent a lot of hours on it as well so it's pretty cool that we're able to put her back to work that tire is still holding there Probably need one more tire on her and then be good to go. Don't worry about any of that stuff. I think that's where my brother Sean ran it into the corner of the house up there and knocked some rocks off. And he did the right thing and just spun the tires against the house for about five minutes, just bucking. So that's what did that, I think. Well, as you can see, I got a whole lot of grass to get to. So thanks, guys, for watching. Appreciate it very much. We'll see you next time. I didn't forget.